What's up, it's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. And if you're OG, thank you for rocking with me for another week. Today we are getting into my true love, shoes. Uh, I love shoes so much, can't get enough of them. Since Sex and the City times, I am Carrie Bradshaw. I would live in a box with all my shoes and be pretty freaking happy. Anyways, so I did a previous video on the best handbags or designer handbags for work. And so this is gonna be like a compliment, complimentary video to that, to be the best designer shoes for work because I wear my designer shoes to work. So let's hop right into it. Okay, first on my list is these Jean Vita Rossi Plexi Pumps. Um, these are in the black and blue color. They come in a variety of colors. Honestly, in general, I think that Jean Vita Rossi makes some of the most comfortable designer heels ever. I have, I think, three pairs of shoes by him and I love all of them. I wear them all to work. I can wear them all day, all night long. I've worn them to weddings. They're just like the perfect pair of shoes. But these ones particularly are my favorite because I think they're a little cooler. My other Jean Vito Rossi's are just plain pumps, suede pumps. Um, these ones I think are just neat with the colors. Uh, I want them in different colors, but I've, I've never bitten the bullet and bought them in a different color way. Uh, I probably will though eventually, but yeah. Top, top favorite shoe, super comfortable. Um, these are, I think, 105 millimeter heels. So it's like a four inch heel, which sounds like a lot, but I swear to you, it is not that bad. And I have a wide, upper part of my foot and I think because these are the like plastic plexi it gives me a little bit of more stretch here um this is this part of my foot is where my foot is the widest so it can hurt when I'm wearing a shoe that's too narrow but I love a pointed toe shoe which is very backwards of course um but yeah these are super comfortable and I really do think it is because of the plastic there um, highly, highly suggest and just honestly beautiful. Anytime I wear these, no matter where I am, but especially at work, I always get the compliments. Next on my list, no brainer, I've talked about this shoe so much, you guys have probably seen it a hundred times, are my really beat up Gucci Prince Town loafers in the white. Um, I love these. I've actually heard so many people say that they're not comfortable um and i don't know what they're talking about because they are literally the most comfortable shoe i own i can wear like obviously i've worn the hell out of this shoe look at how gross it looks i need a new one asap i think i'm gonna order the black loafer and not the mule but um yeah they are so beat up because i wear them all the time they are so comfortable they just look good they make every epi episode <laughs> they make every outfit look sleek um and they're just so such a professional sleek shoe that um honestly i find that a lot of flats can be too plain and make an outfit look even more casual um or look casual you know you, you're dressing for work so you want to look polished and, and dressed up um and i feel like a lot of flats can make it your outfit look too casual but the gucci prince down I, I don't know what, like, it's probably this little bit right here it's just so classy um but it, i even though it's a flat shoe and it's a mule, so even more casual, it really does punch up your look and I'm obsessed with it. Like I said, I'm ordering the black ones in the loafer. I just haven't decided if I want the embroidered ones or the ones that are just plain black. But yeah, top top favorite, highly suggest. You won't, you won't regret it. Okay, back to heels. I guess the rest of my shoes are heels, but. Uh, up next is a classic, uh, the Maison Valentino Rock Studs and this is such an a classic shoe uh i recently actually considered selling these because i don't wear them so much but i still wear them to work quite a bit and i mean my wardrobe as you guys have seen for work uh does care i mean does have a lot of black and white so it goes with a lot of what i wear i don't know why i even considered it but these are literally the most com comfortable heel ever i would say it's a tie between these and the jean Vito rossi shoes for sure but like everybody in the world that i know that has these shoes says they're comfortable uh i haven't heard one person complain about the the pain of pain or anything in these and i think these are also a 100 millimeter heel maybe a little bit less than that but yeah so it's it gives you quite a lift it's classic i went with um a rock stud that is the same color as the strap because I wasn't so convinced on the stud phase. Like I bought these shoes during the stud era where 
everything was studded. Like remember the uh, Alexander Wang everything? I still have one of the bags with the bottom studs. But I wasn't really convinced on the, like, the gold studs on um, the shoe. So I went with something a little bit more muted. Uh, I don't know if they had a full black one with the black studs. I think they did, but I think I wanted something. I was really into the monochrome black and white look. So this is the pair I bought, but yeah. So comfortable, a classic shoe, even though studs go out, the Valentino shoes or all the Valentino studs, I feel like you can wear forever because they keep it in style. Like Valentino doesn't care. They'll put out rock studs every year, even if studs are not in. So you can't go wrong with these. Super comfortable, love them. Okay, so this is like a unicorn because this doesn't happen because Louboutin does not make comfortable shoes at all, really. I have a handful of Louboutin shoes in pumps, in sandals, and they all suck. They all hurt my feet, except for this pair. Um, and I think it's this, the shape of the shoe that gives me comfort. But yeah, it is honestly the anomaly. I don't know how or why or if it's supposed to be comfortable, but they are. So these are the old version of the um, Louboutin Cornell, I think they're called. I'll link them below. But yeah, the shape of the shoe has like this little... So the shape of the shoe has this little like dip in it and I find with Louboutins, although my foot is wide here, it doesn't hurt here. It's the toe area that hurts my feet. Um, I have the Soak Hates in the 120 millimeter heel and they hurt me in the toe area. Like they scrunch up my toes so much that it's just unbearable. And then I have another pair of pumps, I don't remember what they're called, the name of them. Um, but same thing, that's the problem with Louboutins for me. So I think here with the shape, um, how it dips in, it gives you room to kind of like stretch the shoe out. And this is patent leather and you know, patent doesn't stretch as well as everything else. But um, it does, it doesn't hurt my toes when I wear them, which is honestly super shocking. But I've had these shoes for like eight years and I've worn the hell out of them. Like you guys can probably tell. I mean, I think they look pretty good. Like I've, I've taken pretty good care of them, but like they're, they need to be resold and I probably should do that now. The inside have gotten worn, but I wear these to work all the time. They're just, I don't know, like, I don't really know what's classier than a red bottom, really. They've done an amazing job marketing themselves as like the luxury shoe. So I feel like whenever I put on my Louboutin for work, I feel so badass, so badass. And without the pain, so like, who would have thought? Yes, these are a top favorite and uh, I'm considering buying this the newer version this year. The newer version just has this like indent on the other side so it would go up this way. So I imagine it'd be the same effect. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to buy those these this year and get these resold too um, because they're great and nothing beats going into the, the boardroom in your loop. Like you just feel like a million bucks. These are the 100 millimeter heel you can definitely get a Louboutin in a lower height heel height if that's your issue with the if with heels uh, go with a lower height but I find that anything under 110 I can wear it to work and I can wear all day so up next is Jimmy Choo and honestly I think Jimmy Choo like Sean Vito Rossi makes a super comfortable designer shoe I have a couple of them some pumps a couple of pairs of sandals these are my favorite these are the most comfortable ones that I wear to work all the time um these have a hundred millimeter heel again. Um, I guess all of them kind of do. This one I like. This is, this is my safe space. My safe space is hundred millimeters. Nothing above that, definitely nothing above that. And below that I can go anywhere. Um, but yeah, so these are my patent leather Jimmy Choo uh, lace ups. I think they're called the Vita. They're an older style. I got these a couple years ago, probably like three or four years ago. I wear them all the time, but I, like I said, Jimmy Choo makes a fantastic shoe that's very comfortable. I have a pair of Anouk, I think they're called, pumps. The suede nude pump. And I love them, I wear them all the time as well. But these ones specifically I adore because of the lace-up detail. And again, I think having the wider base and the lace-up, it gives you the option to like size your shoe, if that makes sense, um, is much more comfortable. So I'm obsessed with these, I wear them all the time. Um, uh, but yeah, Jimmy Choo, you can't go wrong. And like I said, the Anouk are super, super comfortable too. These are amazing. Any lace-up I think I prefer, really. But yeah, I wear these all the time. Jimmy Choo, you can't go wrong. Up next is 
a top favorite of mine and not a pointed toe. Shocking, obviously, I like what I like. But these are my Gucci heel, mid-high or mid-heel loafer, I think that's what they're called. There's no name. This is what it says on the website. I am obsessed with these. These are super, super comfortable. First of all, they don't have the pointed toe, so it gives your toes a break from being squished. I feel like they have a wider base right here. Um, and the heel. The heel isn't a 100 millimeter, which is what I usually wear. I think this is like 70 or 80. I haven't measured them myself. Um, they also have the chunky heel, which is always better than wearing a stiletto, way more comfortable, in my opinion. And they're leather through and through, so they've given me a lot of stretch over the years. I've had these for, I think, three years, maybe a little bit more than that, and they look great. Um, the style is so classic. Like, these come in so many different styles um in like plain colors in leather in suede i think they come in the embroidered one with like the bugs all over them i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah so many different styles and i just think they are a fantastic shoe it's a classic look this will never go out even though it does have like the pearl embellishment which i think is phenomenal i love the pearl embellishment um i think these are forever in my closet like i could be an old lady rocking this yeah i rock this at this age i rock this in my 20s like you can just always rock this shoe. It will never go out of style and that's a must. And I feel like it is a perfect work shoe for like a plain outfit and you put these on, it's just like pop of wow. Also comfortable. Um, and then you can also wear these out. So it win win. Now last on my list, which is a bonus, um, because they're kind of a booty. So these are my Malone Soulier. And again, I think this is just a brand in general that makes phenomenal shoe um, that's very, very comfortable. So these, I think, are the Alessandra something, but um, they lace up. And I think that's the reoccurring theme here is that if you have something that laces up, it gives you the opportunity to decide on how wide or how tight you want the shoe to be around your foot. So you have control over that, which gives you the comfort factor here. Um, this is leather also, so it's given me stretch over the years, uh, and it's just a great shoe. And again, I think a hundred millimeter heel, great shoe, great shoe. But like I said, it's kind of, it's more of a booty. I wear this to work all the time. And I just, as you guys can tell, I'm a shoe gal and I like a little, a little extra with my work shoes. Um, they're, they're neutral colors, but I, I love a little detail, a little lace up or you no know, little plexi or whatever to punch up my work look, but uh, comfort is also key at work. Like I don't want to kill myself at work. I'm already at work killing myself. I don't want to be dying on my feet too. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know below which ones were your favorite shoes if you have any of these, or if you have any suggestions of comfortable designer heels as well. I've heard that the Chanel uh, slingbacks are really comfortable. I just don't particularly love the style for myself, so I haven't tried them or I haven't bought them yet. Um, I don't know if I ever will, maybe when I'm a little bit older. I think it's a, it's a more classic style and I think I'm a little bit more edgy, so maybe when my style moves to more classic, um, I'll give them a try. But yeah, give me suggestions on designer shoes that you find are super comfortable or that you wear to work. I would love, love, love to hear because I love shoes. I would love to buy more shoes. Anyways, check me out on Instagram if you don't for daily info and I will see you guys next time.